Hey everyone, it's Kylie Shea and welcome to day 9 of Vlogmas. Today's main topic of the video is going to be my Christmas latte recipes. I've been saying this like for all of Vlogmas and I've made them throughout Vlogmas. It's like, just wait and there'll be a latte recipe. And now it's finally happening. So excited to share this with you guys later in the video, of course. And right now it's time to go to school. We'll do the advent calendars real quickly. I'll put it up in one, save for later. If it goes in one. And I keep forgetting to find my elf cherry kiss, but I literally did not even. There he is. Okay. And his reindeer, oh, what did we name him? Rudy? And I feel like I might have missed a day here. But um, we're going to say there's 16 days till Christmas. That might be wrong. Uh, hello. Get out. Na -da. Um, We're home now. I went to an orchestra rehearsal. It's like, it's like five and it's literally dark out. But like Claire making that one video, like in the corner, this one, really screwed up my schedule because yesterday my video was posted like three hours late and today it's gonna be like an hour and a half late. I haven't even started editing this video, which usually I'm like done at this point. Anyways, I have to do some stuff and then it'll be time to share with y'all my lattes, which I'm super excited to do. I hope you enjoy them. Okay, so the first recipe is a Christmas cold brew. The first thing you're going to want to do here is put about two tablespoons of maple syrup in a cup. You can use a different sweetener if you prefer that, but for this recipe, I like to use maple syrup. Next up is about fourth a teaspoon of cozy coffee spice. I actually got this as a gift, but I think it's about one part nutmeg to two parts cinnamon. Super simple. Next, it's time to add half a cup of your milk of choice. I'm using almond milk. If you're using normal milk, you can use a little less because it does froth up a bit more. Now it's time to froth this all up until it's nice and combined, as well as pretty frothy. This is going to be our cold foam. Now, if you prefer, you can use heavy whipping cream and use a handheld mixer to make the cold foam, but it's just easier to use the frother for me. So it's not technically really a cold foam, but it's definitely thicker than milk. Next up, we have a large cup of ice, I believe. This is like 32 ounces. I'm going to add about 16 ounces of coffee. Right much. I like to leave about 2 inches of room at the top, but it's really going to depend on your cup. So I can't really use that for a measurement. And then we're going to pour our cold foam or really just froth milk over the top. Here is what that looks like. It's definitely frothier than you would think. And honestly, I think it classifies as a cold foam. Next up is a eggnog latte. If you don't like eggnog, then don't make this. I have about the same size cup here, around 32 ounces, and I'm going to add around 16 ounces in. Again, leaving about 2 inches, but that like does not help anyone else if you do not have this cup. And then we're going to add about half a cup of eggnog. This is a lot, but I don't like to also add milk. Now, if you would like to do half and half, then do half milk, half eggnog. But I think the coffee really balances out the eggnog flavor. Mix it all up, and it almost looks like there's half and half in there. It's really good, a lot more creamy. I think it works really well. Next up, we have a peppermint mocha latte. My personal favorite. Again, we have the same size cup, about 16 ounces of coffee, lots of ice. And we're going to add... Your milk of choice, I'm using about half a cup of almond milk here. Next up is the tricky part. When I was at the store, I could not find any peppermint extract, so I ended up having to get peppermint oil, which is very strong. I put just two drops in, and it was so much, I literally had to dump it out. I felt so bad, but it was so bad, it was like making my stomach hurt. It was, mm -mm, it was way too much, so really try and find the extract. D don't use peppermint oil. It just, it just doesn't work, okay? If you get the extract, I recommend about four to five drops. And then here you'll see I'm adding chocolate sauce. I like it very chocolatey. So I add about two, three to four tablespoons of chocolate syrup. Only do two. Um, I, I like it very sweet. I would recommend only two. Um, apparently I didn't film the top of the final product. So next latte. Next up here is a sugar cookie latte. This was actually for Claire. So she ends up adding so much sugar cookie syrup that I literally like flinch when I drink it. It was so bad. Anyways, starting out with the same cup, about 16 ounces of coffee. It is a lot less in the video here because Claire doesn't really like coffee. 
Next up, you're going to use half a cup of your milk of choice. We're using almond milk here. And then you're going to want to do about one to two tablespoons of sugar cookie syrup. Um, I did not have that on hand. I don't even know if that exists. But I had cupcake and it really gave the same sugar cookie feel to it. You may froth this if you like. I do actually really recommend frothing the peppermint mocha one. I just didn't have time that day. This one really isn't necessary because it's just syrup, milk, and coffee. All right, now we're going to pour it over our ice. And can I just say, out of this video, Claire ended up adding like so much more syrup. Claire, why do you even have latte? You don't like coffee. It literally just tastes like, Ugh, it tastes so bad. It's literally just like I'm drinking straight up syrup. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just dissing Claire now. This is a joke. She's fine. She's probably fine with it. She is fine with it. I'm not going to like hurt her feelings. Anyways, that's how you make this sugar cookie latte. Use the measurements I said. Do not follow what the video looks like. There we go. We add a little sprinkles on top to make it more sugar cookie. Next up is a caramel mocha. I believe Starbucks had something like this on their holiday menu last year. I'm not totally sure, but it was like salted caramel mocha, which I feel like is a little weird. But uh, if you want to add a little sprinkle salt on top to make it salted caramel mocha, go right ahead. Anyways, we have about the same size cup, about 16 ounces of coffee, and then you're going to add about half a cup of your milk of choice. I here again am using almond milk. I don't even really like almond milk. I just happen to use almond milk on these days. Now it's time to get the flavoring in there. I like to use about two tablespoons of chocolate syrup and about two tablespoons of caramel syrup. This is quite a lot. Use only like one and a half of each if you don't like your coffee very sweet. I do really recommend frothing this one because with the thick caramel and chocolate sauce you're putting in this, it's just better to get it all incorporated into the milk. There we go. Now we're going to add it to the latte. I didn't have room for all of it, but I fit as much as I could. There wasn't much left. You get a nice little froth top with this one. Hope you enjoy listening to those recipes. I hope you try those recipes. I promise they're really good. And I really screwed up the peppermint. Honestly, I've given up on the peppermint oil. You need peppermint extract. Which I know there's like a whole issue with it, I guess. Like, I can't find peppermint extract anywhere. But if you're going to make this, please, dear God, use peppermint extract. It's really bad if you use oil. It's just too much. It's, it's so bad. Anyways, I'm going to go get some hot chocolate because um, I, I feel like hot chocolate. Then I have a bunch of science homework and math homework because my teachers hate me. Anyways, hot chocolate. Bow, bow, bow. Can we take a minute to appreciate this cup? Because I agree. All right, y'all, I'm gonna finish up some stuff for school and for YouTube, and that means that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye, everyone.